Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to show you all of the titles that I picked up during the month of October, so stick around. So today I'm going to take time to show you all of the titles that I picked up during the month of October. There were a lot of items released during the month, um, so I did get quite a bit. Um, so I'm going to try to show these by the week that they were released. So the first week um, I did get my Halloween 4K collection box set for the 1995 to, um, to 2002 collection with Halloween Resurrection H2O and Halloween The Curse of Michael Myers. I really do like that they did the same style slips, um, slip boxes for these. Um, but, you know, I don't know about the flimsy cardboard box, but it's okay. Um, I did get Dracula, the 4K Steelbook release. I got the A24 exclusive for Marcel. I got the Replacement Killers. The Paper. The Cure. And Shadowlands for the um, Mill Creek Retro VHS style slips. And I got Into the Deep, which I've heard good things about. Watcher. I got the Titans of Cult exclusive for The Thing from Zavi UK. I got um, Fright Night, the still book. Catch Me If You Can, still book. I got Scream 2 with a slipcover. And I got the still book. I got the Army of Darkness still book from Screen Factory and also the 4K um, set, which I really love the artwork. So that was all for the first week of October. Okay, for the second week, I got the Disney Movie Club exclusive Glow in the Dark slip for Frank and Weenie and also for the Nightmare Before Christmas. I got To Kill a Mockingbird with this beautiful looking slip cover. And I also got the collector's edition set with the slip box. And then we got these really beautiful looking still books. I got one for The Godfather, The Godfather Part 2, and The Godfather Coda. All 4K releases with beautiful looking still books. I got the Shutter Original for The Twin. I got the um, Lionsgate slipcover edition still book for The Limey, which I still need to watch. I got the 4K Kino Lorber release for Indecent Proposal, which is a good film. I got the Retro VHS MVD Rewind Collection slip for Disturbing Behavior, which is another fun film. I got the Kino Lorber release for Blind Fury. I got the Zavi exclusive 4K Steelbook for Argo. And then we got this beautiful Universal Classic Monsters Icons of Horror collection with The Mummy, The Bride of Frankenstein, The Creature from the Black Lagoon, and Phantom of the Opera, all on 4K. Um, it is a shame that they did not do the still books this year for these releases. Um, but anyways, I had to get this set. Um, but they did do individual releases for the previous year's release of the 4K titles for The Invisible Man, beautiful looking slipcovers, Dracula, the Wolfman and Frankenstein. And then we also got a um, Kino Lober release with a slip for the Blue Iguana and a 4K release for, uh, for Kino Lober for the score for the second week. Okay, for the third week, we had a lot of titles released during this week. We got Bullet Train. I picked up the Walmart exclusive slipcover edition. Plus, I got the Steelbook with the art cards. Um, I really enjoyed the Bullet Train um, film in the theater. Um, I got the beautiful looking still book for The Ring. Then we got Bodies, Bodies, Bodies from A24. I picked up Pokemon the movie, Secrets of the Jungle. Um, I do like to get all of the Pokemon releases. Um, and this right here, right here was a Netflix film, which I did not know. I got the American Frontier Trilogy. Um, featuring Sicario, Wind River, and Hell or High Water, which were all three great releases. Um, very affordable. I think this was around the $15 mark at Target. It comes with a slip, so I picked up this, even though I already have all the other films. Um, I did get um, Battle of the Super Sons, 
I love the DC animated titles. We have a beautiful release for E.T., um, the Extraterrestrial, still book release, a Target exclusive. We got the Lionsgate release for Mac and Rita, which I never did check out. I got Tropic Thunder on 4K from Kino Lorber. Another Kino Lorber title is Happy Birthday to Me with this beautiful looking slipcover. I got from the UK, I got Jet Li in the one with a slip. I got the um, Screen Factory release, 4K release for The Return of the Living Dead with a slip. We got Punisher Warzone Stillbook from Lionsgate. Um, I got this release from Ronin Flicks for Becky. If you have never seen the movie Becky before, you've got to see it. It's a really great film, really fun to watch. This right here was the special edition from their website. Really beautiful looking um, artwork and a great performance with Kevin James. So check that one out. Then from Zavi, I got the Ex Machina Steelbook release. And I also got the Collector's Edition in this hard box, which I'm happy to have. Um, I did get Island of the Blue Dolphins. This right here, um, I can't remember exactly who put this one out, but it looked like a very interesting older film. So I picked it up. Scorpion Releasing, I think is where, who put it out. I got the Kino Lorber release for Eyes of Laura Mars. And from the UK, I also got the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Um, this right here is a Eureka release. And from, let's see, who put this out? MVD put out No Escape. So I picked this one up. So that was, those were all during the third week of October. Okay, for the final week of October, I did get my Columbia Classics Volume 3 set with all these great films in it. I haven't opened this up yet. I haven't opened up the other two volumes yet. I want to keep them sealed as long as I can, but I do want to watch some of these films. From the UK, from Second Sight, I got A Banquet. I do get all of the Second Sight titles, so I had to get this one. Um, from 101 Films, I got Ghost Watch. I'm not very familiar with this particular title. I want to say that it's maybe a TV show or something from the UK. I don't know. I got the slipcover edition for um, Raw Deal with this beautiful red looking slipcover. I have not received my steelbook yet. Hopefully it will arrive soon. Another one from Eureka is The Most Dangerous Game. I picked that one up. We got the 4K release for Nope. I did get the Walmart exclusive slip cover with this really nice looking slip. I got a 4K release from Severn for The Changeling. Really enjoyed this film. It was a first time watch for me. Really great. I picked up this anime title called Flying Phantom Ship. Wasn't really familiar with it. I did pick it up. It was pretty cheap. So I got it. I also got The Promise. This right here is a film that I grew up watching back on cable. Really good story, really good performances. Um, and it finally got released on Blu-ray, so I was very happy to pick that one up. I got the Best Buy exclusive still book for Nope. Um, I really enjoyed Nope. I did watch it for the first time and thought it was a really well done movie. Um, from Kino Lorber, I got the 4K release for The Usual Suspects. And also the 4K release for Dress to Kill. I got Satan's Little Helper with a slipcover, which was just in time for Halloween. And then lastly, I got Creature from Black Lake. Um, this right here was from... I do not remember who this was from. I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, from Synapse Films. That's who it was from. Um, but yeah, I had to pick that one up. So those are all of the titles that I picked up during the month of October. I'm almost sure that there's probably something that I'm missing. Now, um, October 31st was supposed to be a release date for Top Gun Maverick. Of course, none of mine have came in yet in time for this video. So I will show them with my November hauls. But anyways, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the titles that I picked up. 
And also let me know the titles that you were able to pick up during the month of October. I really do enjoy seeing what y'all get, and I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.